Welcome back to the second part in this tutorial on the muscles of our anterior upper leg or our thigh. And in this video we're going to be focusing on the muscles that are more medial. So the more medial muscles. And obviously they're going to be uh, responsible for actions that result in our leg moving more medially as well. So I've still got highlighted up from our last video the muscles that were involved in anterior movements and uh, knee flexion as well. But let's get started right now on the muscles that are going to move our leg medially. The first of which is going to be our adductors. Now like with our quadriceps, our adductors are not one muscle, they're a group of three. So remember that. We're going to talk about each one of them now. And grouped together, they are going to form the vast majority of the muscles of the medial aspect of your leg. Now let's get started with the first one. We have the adductor magnus. And the adductor magnus I'm going to highlight right now. And we can see it's quite a large muscle. It's going to be the largest of our adductor muscles. And it's going to have uh, quite a broad insertion as well. So it's going to uh, insert all the way along the linear aspera, which was part of our femur bone. And if you need to go back to the femur video to review what that structure is, uh, do that as well. Now, our adductor magnus is going to be responsible for, well, adducting. So it's one of the muscles that has its function in the name, so pretty easy to remember. And adducting meaning it is moving our leg closer toward the midline. It's also going to be a partial synergist of our hamstring. Now our hamstrings are muscles on the posterior aspect of our leg, so they're going to be helping with a backward movement or flexion of our knee joint as well. Moving on to our second adductor muscle now, we have the adductor longus. And the adductor longus is going to be the most anterior or the most superficial of those adductor muscles. And a uh, portion of this adductor muscle has been cut away in this drawing to show all of the muscles. So I'll just outline where the adductor would be inserting. So it's going from this point here to just up here. So it's going to be laying over the top of a portion of our adductor magnus, making it the most superficial of the adductor muscles, but not the most superficial on the leg. Again, focusing on our movements, we're going to be able to adduct with this muscle or bring closer toward the midline. And we'll also be able to uh, slightly medially rotate, so uh, spin our knee or rotate our knee toward our other leg. And the last movement type that this muscle is going to be involved with is flexion of your thigh. So lifting your knee upwards and decreasing the angle between your hip and your knee. And now moving on to our last adductor muscle, which will be our adductor brevis or shortest. And once again, I've just highlighted it there and it's going to be a cut away segment. And this muscle is mostly concealed by the other muscles. So you won't be able to see too much of it. So this will be where the muscle will run. And other muscles are going to be laying over the top of it. So if you're looking at a uh, drawing or a cadaver, you won't see very much of this muscle at all. Now our movements, we're starting to see a common pattern here, adduction and medial rotation. Medial rotation here, I'm just showing if you're getting confused with that term, we're rotating our leg toward the midline. So our knee will be facing toward our other leg. And these three muscles make up our adductors. So magnus, longus, and brevis. So those are your adductor muscles. We're going to do a couple more before we finish off this video. The first one being our gracilis. Uh, you might see gracilis spelt differently depending on what textbook you're looking at, but uh, most often it's IS, so I'll put that there as well. And your gracilis is a very long and thin muscle, so I've just highlighted it there. And it's going to extend all the way from the superior portion there where you can see its origin, right down to your tibia. So your tibia being the large bone of your lower leg. 
So again, we're going to have adduction and medial rotation, and I almost don't even have to write it down by this point. You can kind of tell what a muscle is going to be uh, responsible for as far as movement goes, just by looking at uh, where it begins and where it ends. You can tell how it's going to affect the angle of that bone. And the last muscle we'll do in this video is your pectineus. A pectineus uh, right here I've just highlighted. I'm putting it up because it's going to be the muscle that's going to almost completely conceal your adductor brevis. It's a fairly flat and short muscle and is again adduction and medial rotation. So if it's concealing that adductor brevis, it means it's more superficial to it. And I know you probably think I'm starting to sound like a broken record by now by continually saying uh, adduction and medial rotation, but it's something you need to know and so I'm going to drill it into you. And that covers all of our muscles so far in part one and part two of this video. Now I'll just remind you in part one we did all of the muscles that move our leg uh, anteriorly and I've just marked them here with the uh, pink. So they move our leg anteriorly. And we also have the muscles that we've just done in this video that were mainly responsible for medial movement. So medial and adduction. And we only have a couple of muscles left and I'm going to leave them to uh, the next video. I was hoping to get this done in two videos but I think it's going to be important to extend this out, do the last couple of muscles of our anterior leg, and also talk quickly about what these movements are and show you them on a drawing so you get a better picture of what's going on. I hope this has been helpful. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.